Hi, I'm Dana with Prince William Waters H2O Quality Laboratory. So I'm sure you have heard about the three T's for reducing lead in drinking water in schools and childcare facilities. The three T's stands for training, testing, and taking action. The only way to know if there is lead in drinking water is to test it. You will begin your lead sampling at the closest sink to where the water enters the building. Work your way through the first floor and then move to additional floors if necessary. First, you must establish what sinks, drinking water fountains, and any other sources known to be used for human consumption need to be tested. Next, you must establish an identification system for each sink. You may find it helpful to code the sinks using a system that will allow each unique outlet to be identified by location, type, and other relevant characteristics. Example, R4F1KS, which represents room 4, floor 1, kitchen sink, is one way you can label the sink, or you can simply label it kitchen sink, bathroom sink, room number 7, or whatever makes sense to you, which is the important part here. If you have 12 sinks and only one came back with an elevated lead level, you must know which sink that is. You will need to make sure whatever means of identification you use is clearly written on the bottle with permanent marker and written the same way on the chain of custody. Please use ink that will not smear or run if it becomes wet. The next step is to pick a date. It is a good idea to reach out to the lab to let them know when you will be collecting the samples and returning the samples. It is also the time to ask questions if you have them. Remember to collect all water samples before the facility opens and before any water is used. Ideally, the water should sit in the pipes unused for at least eight hours, but no more than 18 hours before a sample is taken. This means don't collect samples in the morning after vacations, weekends, or holidays because the water will have remained stagnant for too long and will not represent the water used for drinking during most of the days of the week. Finally, the night before samples are collected, it is recommended you place a do not use lead testing in progress sign on each faucet. Now let's take a minute to look at the sampling kit. Each kit has 250 milliliter bottles, labels, and a chain of custody. You will need a permanent marker and a phone or clock. When you are ready to take the sample, remove the cap from the bottle you have labeled as the first straw and set it aside with the inside of the cap facing up. Position the bottle under the faucet. Slowly turn on the cold water and fill the bottle to the neck. Carefully screw the cap back on the bottle making sure the cap is secure and set your timer for 30 seconds. Document the time of the collection on the first bottle during this time. After 30 seconds, collect the flush sample, the same as the first straw sample was collected, ensuring the cap is secure. Confirm the bottles have all information documented and the chain of custody matches each set of bottles. Return the samples with the chain of custody to the laboratory for analysis. You will receive the results from the laboratory via email, so please ensure your contact information is written clearly on the chain of custody. If you have additional questions, please refer to the field sampling guide or call your Virginia Department of Education inspector. We hope this video has helped make this process easier for you and everyone's continued effort to protect the health of all.